Guys, what is going on? It's Nock. And I cannot contain how good I feel right now uh, um, because of this. This is um, GT Sport. This is the Nürburgring. And this is the final gold that I needed for the circuit experience section of the single player game. I had gold in everything else. And yeah, I have been really struggling with this, um, I'll be honest. I was playing it the other night. I live streamed for about three hours. Um, trying to do this for three hours. Drove about 400 miles. I played about four and a half hours in total the other night. I'd only streamed for three. As you can see from my previous best, I have a six minute 57 seconds 0.927. The goal time was six minutes 57 seconds 0.9 flat. And um, Deathwish was on the stream with me and he was kind of like trying to give me some encouragement and spur me on a little bit. And when I hit that, it was like, yeah, you're fine. And I was like, dude, I'm like two hundredths of a second off the time. And I think probably after that, I tried for another hour on, on that stream. So yeah, I tried for four and a half hours that night. I tried for about an hour and a half again last night. And this is probably about 45 minutes into a session today. So in total, I think I've probably driven this track, trying to do this lap for the best part of seven hours driving nearly 700 miles around this track. And um, I don't know, this morning, I just felt good. I, I was playing around with this before I started work. And um, it just felt good. I mean, don't get me wrong, this lap is not the best lap by far, as you'll notice here, I kind of like got off the track. But um, the ghost car here is my previous attempt um, of the morning. And I was about one and a half seconds off the gold time. So gold time. So I knew I needed to improve somewhere, but um, you know, as, uh, at this point of the track, as you can see, uh, I'm actually behind the, my previous best. So I was, you know, a little bit tentative. Didn't know if it was worth carrying on, but I thought, you know what, let's just soldier on, because I'm sure there was like the, the first four minutes of this lap, I pretty much know and have learnt. It's the section between kind of like four minutes and five and a half minutes that's I really wasn't confident i just don't seem to be able to remember there's so many twists and turns in the track um i just don't seem to be able to remember it so i just wanted to kind of like carry on and as you can see here i've already um got past the ghost car which is good the first sector was normally my strongest but on this run it it seems it wasn't at all um really struggled to get ahead of the ghost car but um yeah what i found with this track is you would have areas and segments where you're really really good and then you just start making mistakes and then you make mistake after mistake after mistake and death wish will probably be testament to that when he was watching me for three hours the other night it's just like once you start making a mistake at one point the pressure kind of gets to you a little bit and then you, you seem to constantly make those mistakes um going forward so as you can see here though we're um coming up to about halfway around the lap and uh we're already behind the ghost car again so it's not good considering we've got to make you know one minute one uh, sorry one and a half seconds progress on the ghost car but uh nonetheless i, I you know, you know what? i'm going to carry on i know there was a couple of mistakes i'd made later on in the lap so who knows and that's that's one of the things death wish was telling me when he was watching me he was saying you know what don't abandon your laps because I, I would make a mistake i would abandon the lap and um i would then start afresh but um i think a lot of the time i was doing that i was like full-on crashing into barriers or um this car is, is very, very tricky. If you get a tire, one single tire on the grass, then it, it's so easy to either hit the barriers or um, just go off the track and spin altogether. This tricky, this is a tricky corner. That inside line there, you can see it's like a little bit um, ca cambered. And if you get in there, it can be really tricky. That's why I took that so wide for anybody that's wondering. But um, yeah, we've got about... Oh, I've still got about three and a, uh, two and a half minutes or so to go on this lap this is just an absolutely beastly track and it's it's so punishing because it is such a big lap um you can get like four four and a half five minutes into this lap and then make a mistake and then it's it and it's just you just think oh man i've spent all that time um but yeah no i'm really happy that i've managed to do it in the end because like i said it's 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 a rewarding circuit this isn't the full nurburgring circuit either i think that the full circuit is like a 15 minute lap or something like that but um Luckily, the developers, I think this is a mistake by me. I went too deep into the corner and onto the grass. But I'm pretty sure I did that in my previous run that I'm racing against at the moment anyway. So, um, yeah, we got a penalty for that. But 
it's we don't have to slow down because we're going we're gonna take as long as we slow down by that much throughout the course of the remaining lap um it will be fine and i'm pretty sure i've taken some of these corners a little bit slower just because i don't want to make any more mistakes as you can see there um we've now already eradicated the penalty but yeah um i'm glad that it's not the full 15 minute um circuit and um coming into like the final kind of minute of the lap here and um that's that's kind of like the section that we've just driven through that this is the section here that um i'm ultimately not too confident with at all as we're lucky to not get a penalty there wow i really kind of went off the track a little bit there but um oh we did get a penalty half a second but we're going to slow down enough going through here i think to um eradicate that but um so at this point in the lap i'm kind of looking behind me and i know that this point here there is one more corner to take and the corner that's coming up is the corner that i kind of messed up at so many times when i was streaming the other night it's like so far towards the end of the lap and then i've just always just always taken it too quickly but this time a little bit tentative dab on the brakes just to make sure i get around the corner quickly on the throttle maybe even you know a little bit of grass cutting look behind me and now i can't see the ghost car anyway so i know deep down here if i can bring it home cleanly from this point onwards i should be able to make up the uh, second and a half that i need to make on my ghost car so um so at this point my heart is freaking racing man i i'm so nervous i don't see a freaking game i've never i don't think i've ever been this nervous in a game but so much time and like effort has gone into this like i say the seven hours or 700 miles to drive a lap under 657.9 around the circuit so we're into the final section here this is very very fast and they're gonna get on the brakes i got into the grass and i was like oh, no get off the grass you can you're gonna mess it up so now we've got the final corner so brake nice and early, and it's all about trying to take much speed. I go a little bit wide, and I'm thinking, oh no, they've got a little bit of wheel spin on the exit. Looking at the timer as we head towards the line, and oh man. Evan was in the room at me at the time, and I don't think he has, um, he, he didn't quite know what was going on. I just literally jumped up and cheered, and I was like, I've done it. I freaking did it. Not only have I done it, I like smashed it. I got like three seconds quicker than my previous attempt uh, on my previous lap, so yeah. That one's for you, Deathwish, because I know uh, I appreciate you sticking around uh, for the three hours you did in the stream and trying to give me some nice bits of um, encouragement and bits and pieces. So uh, that lap's for you, buddy. Thank you very much for sticking out, trying to help me. We got there in the end. And um, I probably plan never to race around that again. Like I said, it's not a perfect lap at all. It was far from perfect. But um, I am going to take it because... Um, I really don't want to drive around that track ever again and try and beat that time, to be fair. But um, in the end day, it really doesn't matter because now on Circuit Experience, we have gold on every single track. And um, we get our final gift car. We're going to get, I think this is randomized every time. So I um, don't think we're going to get anything decent here. We're going to get that little crappy BMW that I think I've probably already got in my garage. But uh, hey. A car's a car, right? Not like I can sell it for plenty of money. Anyway, guys, that's it. We have 100%ed circuit experience. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming.